what is up guys I'm back with another video I'm gonna be showing you guys how to get 200k in one hour on GTA I'm gonna be showing you a couple different ways two different options option one will be basically where you don't really have to do anything so if you're someone who likes doing missions and stuff and actually doing things then option two is gonna be all about that so let's get into the video I hope you guys enjoy leave a like if you do and here's how to make 200k in an hour on GTA. So for option one, what I would suggest is doing most wanted as many times as you can while you're waiting. I think you can do another challenge, even if it's not most wanted while you're waiting for most wanted to cool down and do it again. Do auto buyout. It's one of the easiest ones where you don't really have to do much. Just steal a couple cars. That's basically it. Or you could just keep doing Most Wanted and Privacy Prevention over and over again. The only time that you really do anything is with Privacy Prevention if someone is coming to mess you up on your yacht and that's basically it. So, an Executive Search and Hostile Takeover. So those are four things that you could keep doing and you will make a lot of money. It's 20 to 30k for each mission that you do and you don't have to do anything. Like I said, with Hostile Takeover, if you watch my other video, I don't know if I put it in this one and some guy's gonna come kill me. Um, hostile takeover, you just run over the guy with a Kuruma, whatever, and then just take it to the destination. So easy, so quick. Um, executive search, you, I'm sure know what that is. Privacy prevention and most wanted. Honestly, if you do that, um, in an hour you can make 200k really easy. Most wanted, you just stand there. Uh, privacy prevention, you hopefully just stand there and hopefully nobody messes with you. Executive search, same thing. Just move your controller once in a while and you're good. If you have friends that you're playing with, that's great. If you also have friends that have yachts, privacy prevention is even better because you guys can just keep doing that where it's 30k every time. So that's awesome. So that's how you can make 200k in one hour with option one. Option two, which is more um, mission-like, I would suggest if you guys had um, a motorcycle club and just do missions like that because you make loads of money doing that. So I'd recommend that. Um, hostile Takeover again, you actually have to do something in that one, so that's kind of for option one and two. Remember option two is um, more mission-like if you don't want to just sit there. Um, and just all the other missions and stuff. What is it? Headhunter is also another good one that gives you a lot of good money and it's a mission. Um, it's actually a quick kind of mission too. Auto buyout is also a mission, which I include in option one, but you don't really have to do much to win it, but it's something to do if you want. Point to point is another mission where you have to actually do something. Um, and basically every other mission here, you actually have to do something. It's mostly only most wanted in privacy prevention that you don't. So that's what I can advise you to do. Um, if you don't have a CEO and you're just starting out, you can do what I did starting out, as sad as it is. Um, either get a friend to help you make money doing um, anything really, just help with their VIP work. Or if you don't have any friends, um, you can just rob stores all the time. I mean, it gives you a lot of money. Sell cars, do missions. Like, I know, I can't remember his name in GTA, it's been so long, but if you sell cars for him, you get a lot of money doing that. Um, just keep uh, robbing stores. If you have cops on you all the time where it ends up being five stars or whatever, just leave the session, find a new one, and just keep robbing stores. Um, if you're really starting out the game, it's going to take you a while anyways. And that's honestly how I did it, and I just started working on doing missions, and I just saved up. And that's how it was. There's really no easy way to do it besides that. If you're a CEO and you've been in this game for a long time, it's pretty much just all there anyways. So...